Hello everyone, this is a video in continuation to our previous videos. We have discussed about gymnosperms, we have discussed the general characteristics, we have discussed the characteristics of pinus, then the male and female cone of pinus. In this video, we will be discussing about the cycus. These are two, pinus and cycus are there in your syllabus. We have discussed pinus all together. We are going to discuss cycus here and the difference between pinus and cycus. Keep watching the video till the last because at last you will find everything on the board, all the diagrams, all the explanation. You can note it, uh, note it down and make your notes which will help you out. So starting with the, uh, starting out with the video, cycus is a gymnosperm and We'll start with the general characteristics. It is found, it is found in warmer areas or the places with warm uh, climate because the cycus was found in colder regions but it is found in the warmer regions. Then cycus, the stem of cycus, stem of cycus is unbranched and is known as codex is known as codex so the question comes what is codex you can tell that it is an unbranched stem of cycus then leaves of cycus are two main types foliar leaves and scaly leaves sorry foliage leaves uh, which are green in color And undergo photosynthesis obviously if it's green it will undergo photosynthesis and other one is scaly leaves which provide protection found on the stems and all and uh, provide protection in pinus there were three leaves foliage scaly and sporophylls here we have foliage and scaly leaves foliage leaves are green in color they perform photosynthesis scaly leaves are present on the stem and it provides protection then coming up to the reproductive part cycus is dioecious cycus is dioecious that means there is a male plant and a female plant in pinus we had only one plant which bore female cone and male cones but here it was monoecious but here it is dioecious that means there are two different plants male plant and female plant male plant forms the male cones or bears the male cones and here female reproductive structure is formed here sporophylls sorry here uh, cones are formed formed but in case of females, there is no arrangement of cones. Matlab, there are no cones, but there are general reproductive structures, rather cones. They are not called cones. Whereas the males, they are male cones. So, uh, 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 male cones and the cone is known as strobilus. We have already done it. So in male, strobilus is formed. In female, strobilus is not formed. After this, some important fact you can star mark and write down Psych in cycus we have largest female and male gametes of plant kingdom and also largest ovule of plant kingdom we all know we are doing plant kingdom under plant kingdom we are doing gymnosperms under gymnosperms we are doing the example cycus so in plant kingdom cycus is the one which has largest female and male gametes produced plus it is the one which has largest ovule also this is a very important one marker question okay so these are the general characteristics of cycus it is found in warmer regions stem of cycus is unbranched known as codex leaves are foliage and scaly foliage are green in color undergo photosynthesis scaly are protective in nature they are dioecious male and female separate plants are there in males cones are produced known as strobilus in females reproductive structures are produced but not called as cones they some important pointers are they have largest male and female gametes in the plant kingdom plus they have the largest ovule in the plant kingdom also 
Now we'll be jotting down some important differences between cycus and pinus. Cycus and pinus. Okay. General, we are not discussing here that they are grown in colder regions. Wow, I have already uh, talked about when I was doing the video. We'll talk about some specific differences. Cycus, the wood of cycus is monoxylic. Is is monoxylic. I'll tell you what is it. Wood of pinus is is pycnoxylic. Pycnoxylic. Okay. So what is monoxylic? Monoxylic is that it has it has few tracheids, few and more parenchyma whereas in uh, pycnoxylic means that it has more tracheids and less parenchyma okay so the wood of cycus is monoxylic wood of pinus is pycnoxylic Monoxylic means it has few tracheids but more parenchyma and pycnoxylic is where it has more tracheids and less parenchyma. Then the cortex of cycus is large or you can say more in number and has reserve food which forms sago. We have heard about it. Sago is a food type of uh, sugary uh, food then in pinus cortex is less so no reserve food okay then in case of cycus the wood which is wood of cycus it is it is not durable Matlab, you cannot make furnitures and all out of it because it gives rise to the, you know, it bears the growth of pathogens and all. So you cannot make furniture out of the wood of cycus, but the wood of pinus is durable. The wood of cycus is not compact. Whereas in case of pinus, it is compact. Compact method, very good for formation of uh, furniture, not porous. Okay, so these are the differences. Wood is monoxylic, uh, uh, pixoglic. Then cortex is large, having reserve food known as sago. If someone asks you where is where do we get sago from, that is the cortex part of the uh, cycus. And here the cortex is too less to have reserve food. The wood of cycus is non-durable. It is durable in case of pinus. It is not compact and in co it's compact in case of pinus. Pinus wood is very good for making furniture. So this is all about cycus. We have clearly discussed everything. You can note it down and form notes about cycus. In our next video, we'll be discussing about the next uh, group that is angiosperms. We'll start with the general characteristics of angiosperms. Thank you. Keep watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you.